did you manage to check Janice's laptop since we lost Bake? As in, did you check her recent Google history? Well, Genesis doesn't use Google. She no, uses DuckDuckGo. Yeah, when she was still talking, she would go on about how DuckDuckGo doesn't track your history. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. did you check her DuckDuckGo then? Well, no. Well, I wouldn't dream about checking somebody's laptop. That would be invasive. Wow. It's, it's private. I'd rather her body said that someone checked my laptop. Yes. That's dramatic. No, it's not. I don't know her password. I don't know even my own. But does she use the zoo system? She did, she did exactly, yeah. Yeah, she did, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got cage numbers. Yeah. And then animals are arranged in the cage alphabetically. Right, so right. you've got giraffe 23, which is Gmail. Yeah, and then yeah, yeah. Flamingo 18, which is With Facebook. Facebook yeah. And then oh, Butterfly yeah. 3, which is Banking Online. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at a laptop. I looked at a laptop. What? Excuse, excuse Why me? Why did you do that? Well, when somebody's dissolving in front of your eyes, all the rules change. Uh, so what was her last history? Grey hair dye. To cover grey hair? No, grey hair dye, the dye that turns your hair grey. Now that grey hair is legal for women, you can choose to go grey. You can cover the grey hair that makes you feel old with grey hair that makes you feel fashionable. Ooh. So how do you dye your hair grey? Well, it's purple toner on bleached hair with yellow undertones. No amount of no grey hair, hair dye can hair dye cover the effects of a wrinkled face, wrinkled face and, and shame. And shame. I'm now making money. I'm an extra on movies and TV, which, because I got to the point where I would envy people who were going off to, to work in whatever job at all. One thing extras are often accused of is having jazz hands, which means they overreact yeah. when they're not required to. Ah, oh, yes. And I think I do that too, things like this. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, this kind of thing, yeah. which, and it, which is exact, and it turns out that's what they're doing. well quite lonely so you, you, you mentioned friends you, are your friends quite involved with some um... and some of them are more involved than others yeah. like um, I've got a very good friend um, called Chrissy who um, actually came in to see me in hospital yeah. once when I was there funny enough she wasn't actually there to see me she was there for sort of other reasons but she sort of popped her head around the door and was just like oh you're in the same world that I'm sort of seeing this other person in. Oh, let's have a chat for five minutes. Mm. Is Chrissy a good friend? Yes, she's uh, been my friend for about, oh, about eight or nine years or something like that. So to sort of see her in the doorway and sort of go, you know, to have that five minutes with her, just sort of talking to her was very much like, sort of helped me a lot more because it sort of reminded me what I, again, what I was sort of fighting for. And it was almost like, another drug was entering my system. It was very much like it sort of boosted, yeah. like the need to get out and sort of almost the immune system. And... It 
it's easy to create content, it's just hard to curate it. Oh yeah, by the way, I told Tom about that widow and young forum that he enjoyed. Why? Yeah, although technically we never married and he doesn't really look that young since he got his promotion. Oh, this is Shivik, by the way. Um, Shivik plays music in hospitals for patients. Oh, how does that work? I could, you know, go meet them and think if, might, if there's a song that they might like, or, you know, you can usually tell at the moment if there's something that might be appropriate. Mm -hmm. What happens if there's two patients in one room? Um, and I might mix two songs together, or, you know, to create something new. Fusion? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, would Tom like to be your legacy contact? Or your mum, perhaps? I don't know, I need more time to think about it. There's always the uh, nuclear option. The what? Your right to total erasure. Aubrey Sampson has developed a performative ritual where all your digital data is corroded in acid and only your memory still remains in epoxy resin. Stick together. Well, I really need to be alone. 